and you don't know them, who would you go to first? Mm. Definitely, yeah. you go to the one who is smiling. smiling. What does that tell you? <coughs> what does that tell you? So, let's see. I mm. pray that your age group, the youth of today, will not follow what we've been doing. I beg them not to follow what you've been doing. Because it looks as if the youth of today are in a hurry. I beg them. They shouldn't be in a hurry. Th what they should be in a hurry for is to build capacity within themselves. Study as much as you can. Be it book knowledge. Be it in Sanujuma. As hard as you can. Because it will reach a point where you cannot do anything else. And don't think that point is far off. It's very, very close. But do you think that the youth is ready to take over the affairs of the country? It's not a question of whether the youth are ready to take over the affairs of the country. The youth should show that they have the capacity, capability, and understanding of governance. And I point a finger at some of us. NDC, mm. MPP, CPP, uh, DPP, all these parties, do they have a youth group where we are imparting knowledge to? So within the party, there are groups in there with the youth who are helped in understanding what it means to govern. Do we have it? We don't have it. And sometimes I blame myself too. Mm. I monitor, I, I mentor a lot of people through the AGI. But are we doing it for our young ones? If you look at the British uh, uh, system, they have situations where young people within the two main parties, and even the, all the parties in the UK, they have youth groups where they coach them in governance, what it means to govern, what are some of the things you need to know, what's the understanding, all that. So when the old are dying off, they knew that coming. By the time they get to that stage, they are worse mm -hmm. in what it means to govern. And it's a very gradual, seamless transition. So if you look at Michael Heseltine's time, Michael Heseltine, I'm not sure if you, met, you, you know him. No, I'm not okay. sure. Okay, he was one, one, one of the strong uh, uh, Tory uh, uh, ministers. You look at even uh, John Major. You look at Tony Blair. Look at their time. Mm. They are now out. The new ones that have come, when they get in, don't you see them handling governors very well? Because yeah. they've been coached before coming into power. And mm. before you even come into power, the, pr the prime minister knows who has done what and who can do what. So it's easy for him or easy for her to say, go here, go here, go here. Do we have it in our country? <laughs> when Kwame Nkrumah built the ideological institute, we bastardized him, said all sorts of things. But the Ideological Institute was there to be able to train people in ideology. And you see, because right now we don't use ideology for governance, we use private sector as the engine of growth money, mm. we are lost. Mm. We're completely lost because the ideology tells you what it is like to be able to rule. Ideology gives you a basis for looking at the governance system, looking at some of the things that governance uh, entails and how you can handle some of the issues in governance. We don't have it anymore. So, mm. here we are. Money has taken the stage of things like ideology. I hope, going forward, we can change it. Mm. 